Hi everyone! Today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different than what I've done in the past. Now I'll be playing some of the levels that I've made for this game, thanks to the Crusades. So I guess you guys will be able to laugh at the developer messing up at his own creations. <laughs> well, let's see how I do. Today I'll be playing the Castle Crusade. The Castle Crusade is one of the harder uh, crusades in this game, as you may or may not know already. You can see here in the back there's a pretty cool new screen which shows all of the levels in the Castle Crusade before you play. This is coming in version 1.4. And you can check this out yourself if you check out the development versions on the Discord of uh, Kings the Crusade. I'll have that link. So let's start playing! You see here, this is the first level, uh, Snow Fort. So this is a... it's a bit hard at times because there's all the snow and everything. It's very chaotic and what we see. Anyway, uh, my strategy for this level is to try to keep the tanks as contained as possible outside of this castle. So the more breaches we have, the harder it becomes. And this level is a bit hard because some of the tanks here, like the purple ones specifically, but also the orange ones, they can pathfind, and they will uh, the purple ones because they can lay mines. They'll take advantage of their mine laying ability to break into the castle, which can be a problem. Uh, the orange ones can't lay mines, but they'll lose the gaps that the purple ones did create, and they'll come in the castle too. And these orange tanks are kind of dangerous because uh, if you're not paying attention to them, they'll creep up on you, behind you, and they'll just toast you. So you have to be careful. The orange ones will charge towards you when they see you. Whereas the other ones might not do that, so you have to be careful. The orange ones will keep going towards you. So that's pretty important to keep track of. Alone, the orange tanks are not, not terrible at all to deal with, but you know, it's when you're fighting someone else that they creep up behind you and they surprise the element of surprise. That's how I kind of like to say some of these tanks are more support tanks, whereas others are more uh, main tanks that you fight. The orange ones are definitely more of a support tank. Now you hear, here you can see that uh, the purple tank is shooting my bullets. Uh, it's deflecting them. This is one of the abilities the orange tank has, that is to shoot my bullets makes it a lot harder. Uh, this Scion tank here, uh, it's not too bad to deal with, it doesn't shoot very often. Uh, just be careful, you have to be careful about the freezing bullets, which can be kind of nasty at times, because if I get caught there, then it's pretty bad. Anyway, uh, I think we'll be clearing off the very last tank here, which is just another Scion tank. Nice fan, take it down. And that's that level. Whoa. One down, nine to go. So this is a uh, sand castle here. This level is a bit hard because you have explosive uh, tanks. These orange red tanks and the mustard tanks which are quite important. So the strategy here is uh, try to get rid of the explosive tanks uh, as soon as possible. Uh, that tank decided to kill itself. Oh, awesome. uh, and then try to get rid of these mustard tanks. Because they, they can shoot over the walls. Keep the green tanks contained as long as possible. And if you can't, if, if someone reaches them, like for example one of those born red tanks, kill them as soon as possible because they will make your life very nasty. And that's Sandcastle. That was pretty quick. Now we have Castle Siege. And a little bit of a fun fact is that this was actually the first level that made, it, made use of the fall blocks. You can see here the blocks that are taller than one height. So, uh, this is the first level I created. Test these. And actually, another fun fact about this level is that um, this prompted me to create uh, zooming in and panning around for the level editor because, you know, creating this level, uh, which is a pretty big level, in the old editor, which didn't let you zoom in or pan around, was really hard because you had to be very careful about where you put the blocks. Everything is really small. 
So you can thank this level for a bunch of that stuff. The level itself is kind of straightforward in that there's no, uh, you don't have to face too many tanks at once ever, it's very hard to analyze. And that was sort of the idea, it was just, it was the first castle level, you know, I was making, uh, I was having some fun with all of these tall blocks to make castle level. But, uh, yeah, it's pretty straightforward. It was actually also this level that prompted me to have the staggering thing in the level editor. So when you place down blocks, you can uh, enable staggering mode. And that lets you uh, draw walls that are like this, staggering. Uh, some of them are maybe a half a block color of And, yeah, that lets you create castle levels really easily. See, I kind of like castle levels in this game. The timing is supposed to be safe, uh, relating to castle levels. Anyway, this is probably one of the harder parts of this level, where you have to face off two uh, invisible white tanks and one purple tank. Uh, just keep hammering at them and stay behind the wall and try to uh, not die. Basically, you to do this game all the time. You have to work a bit uh, with the timer, because it's a bit tight. Uh, get this green tank first, and now I'm going to take out these blue tanks which stun me. Uh, the way I do this is I like to stay behind these corners, because the blue tanks won't shoot you until they have a direct line of sight to the center of your tank. So you can take advantage by shooting around the corners a little bit. Now uh, I have about a minute left, and a few tanks left, so it's looking a little bit tight on time here. We're gonna teleport back, and take out here. So that's the pink one and the dark green one. Uh, the dark green one is a bit scary, so we'll take out the pink one first. Okay, getting the big pink one, you know, the mommy that spawns the little kids, is probably going to make your life a bit easier because um, that way it won't keep spawning more. And these dark green tanks won't shoot at you if they're not in your line of sight, so shoot them, and then hide, and then they'll probably die to your shots. Now we have to get these two, these two should be too terrible to uh, getting the growth would be a bit of a time waste. I only have about uh, 13 seconds left, so it's gonna be kinda, yeah, I don't know if I'll make it this time, but if I don't make it this time, oh, okay, the black tank somehow killed itself. Ah. I guess you guys get to make fun of my AI now for killing itself. Well, thanks to the black tank having killed itself, we just need to take out that brown tank and main level. I think that's pretty cool. Castle Street. Fourth level in Castle Street. This level was actually not made by me, but uh, it was made by my friend Kultiam. So we made it together and we were thinking of uh, the, a level with the castle defense. And you know, there's actually a castle defense in this game as well, uh, which you'll see later on. But we both made levels with that theme. And this was his, and mine you'll see a bit later. These were like the second castle series levels that uh, were made in this game pretty much. They were made back in the pre release days of. Anyway, there's a bunch of invisible white tanks here that also have pathfinding abilities. Um, so, if I just hide somewhere here, they'll all eventually come to me. There's no time limit on this level, so I can just wait a little bit and then you can see they're all coming here. And as they round the corner, Try to avoid it, but if you insist, you can get them. So, there we go. Now, just be careful to not get shot. That's what this game is about, being careful to not get shot. So, someone needs to like that. Alright, we got that white guy. Now we have to be careful. There's uh, yellow tank down here that got frozen by the cyan tank. Uh, this cyan tank, I'll use the teleporter. Uh, oh, I didn't use the teleporter too, so that's not good. Uh, another trick you can do is when you're inside of the teleporter shrinking or growing, you're actually getting shot by bullets. So you can 
Bullets will hit you, they'll just not do any damage to you. So you can take advantage of this to go all out when you're teleporting. Uh, this was actually added because otherwise it'd be very unfair because you can't really move when you're in the teleporter. Uh, so, you know, if you can shoot, it would make things a bit more balanced. So I have to watch out for these uh, dark green tanks, which are pretty far away, and they shoot these pellets. And oh, I took some damage here. A few tricks about these are uh, one, staying out of their line of sight is very helpful. Number two, they try to predict your velocity. So, I mean, they predict your position using your velocity. So if you're moving, they'll shoot at where you will be, not where you are. Now you can take advantage of this. Uh, and this isn't the only tank that does this, by the way. You can take advantage of this phenomenon by uh, changing the direction you're moving in. And it'll be very wildly off that way if they're far away from you. Watch this. See? It shot to the side. And I think... Oh, that's where the second one is. Well, the first one died from a mine. And let's see if we can get this guy. We got him! Very nice. That's Castle Street. So now, this is a very notorious level. It's called Castle Out of Um, it's a bunch of mustard tanks. Well, it's just one mustard tank. But there's a bunch of mimic tanks that are mimicking the central one. So the key to this level is to take out the central mustard tank as quick as possible and to keep moving. These mustard tanks do the same prediction thing. So I like zooming out for this level. Like you can press I to zoom out. Also, notice how there's shrubbery, these green bushes around the level. This means that if I don't move, they won't see me. So I can think right now what I'm doing because I'm thinking and I'm talking without moving. Um, also, enable your aiming. You can press this uh, you can press I to enable aiming. If you double click I, wait, sorry, it's not I, it's um, period. If you double click period, you can uh, enable a little aim tracer. So, what you want to do is move quickly and shoot off of one of these walls here to get to the central tank. Now, there's a problem. If you move in a straight line, these things, as I said, will predict your velocity and they'll shoot you. So, you have to move in a bit circles a little bit of a windy pattern. Um, you have to be unpredictable is the key. So let's try it. And they all start shooting in circles now. And well, I failed that one, I guess. Um, there's a nice, there's a little art to it. So I'm in the top now. Ah, almost. Snaking around is helpful. Yeah, this is a bit of a tricky level. I was thinking of nerfing this level because it's kind of mean. Uh, let me know if you guys think I should nerf this level. Almost. Almost. I managed to do this in one try last time I tried this. I don't know what's going on now. I'm just. I don't know. When I'm on video, you guys can laugh at me. Oh, well, I got one of them, but not the central. Ah, I got the central one too, but I died first. So snaking around can be a problem if you end up where you would have been in the first place. Uh, I don't know. Just try being unpredictable. But being unpredictable enough that you won't end up where you were originally. Now the level is a lot easier. I can press O to auto zoom. Uh, once you get a central line, this level is kind of a piece of cake. You get a run out. It's be very relatively easy. Still, I'll just race around. And that's 
that level. That was that level. Now Castle Maze. Uh, this is just sort of... Well, you can tell it's a maze. Uh, this level has a lot of half-finding things, but it also has, um, some blue tanks and blue tanks and red tanks and mustard tanks. So I was supposed to still be a combination of half-finding things and, uh, other threats that are in the glorious well known as annoying. And mustard tanks are not. I think the mustard tank has a little bit of reputation for itself. Uh, this purple tank here is coming in. So, the strategy to this level is generally to kill a few of the stationary tanks if you can at the very beginning. And then chill out and find a place that has not too many points of entry. Because everyone's gonna start coming after you. So, now you can see there's a bunch of tanks here that are glowed up. And there's this orange red tank, which I killed it and it exploded because when you kill those, they explode. That way you can get more uh, tank kills. But when tanks are clumped up, they kind of work against each other. That they barricade each other from going to where they want to go, so you can get a lot of them clumped pretty easily that way. So, let's do that one. Take care of the blue one. There's a booster tank here. Um, there, we got the booster tank. Uh, I did not get the booster tank though. Okay, now we got the blue tank too. Now what I need to do is I need to get the rest of the tanks. And I think most of the moving threats are gone now. Uh, taking out these red tanks. Red tanks, uh, usually the strategy to take them out is to use reflections bounce off of walls. That being said, uh, here you can't really because you have these blocks that don't really rebound. So you have to be, you have to uh, improvise a bit. Uh, the other way to get the red tanks is to literally just stand right in front of them and shoot them. It's a bit, it takes a bit of guts to do this, but the green tanks, these are kind of annoying and I died. Okay, I think I just have these four tanks left. Um, yeah, please. Let's see, what can I do? Maybe I'll break out here and walk around. So, about the red tanks, what I was saying earlier, you can stand in their line of sight and shoot directly at them. Their lasers will cancel out your bullet. Uh, this works uh, if they're not too far away from you. Why this won't work if they are too far away from you? that your bullets will take a while to get through. and with each shot the laser tank does, its cooldown will decrease by a good 25%. So, eventually you'll start shooting faster than you, and you won't be, you won't be able to do anything. Additionally, when you're taking them down by doing a straight line of sight thing, you're going to want to um, also be very careful to not move, because they'll shoot towards the center of your tank. And if, if the center of your tank is not uh, directly aligned with your bullets because you move, they'll shoot the center of your tank and they won't hit your bullets. So let's see here. The center of my tank is aligned with that, so the bullets will be shields. And they'll shoot a few bullets, but not enough to be shooting fast enough to shoot through all of my bullets and shoot me. So that's a strategy if you're close enough to them. But yeah, either stand still and shoot directly at them, or rebound. Rebound them with throw. And that's Castle Mains. Now, Castle Defense. This one's a bit of a hard level, I have to say. Um, this was... The point of this level, originally, was to take advantage of the pathfinding tanks. That is, the tanks that can, uh, use, uh, their AI to move around the level, and track you down shoot at you. Same with that. Uh, so they, they'll move around the level. They'll move, they'll navigate through it and navigate to you eventually. So this means that you don't need to go find them yet. So you can just sort of pick yourself into a corner here and just wait for a to come. That being said, they will sort of 
come at you. And they will use mines to break the wall. So you have to be careful. I guess I could space is going to be very helpful. Like here, for example, this is a unique open space. Because they'll have less ways to get to you that way. Uh, the problem is, though, that they'll also be able to mine to break the other side of this wall. So you have to be careful for that, because mines can break open the wall. Yeah, you see, the white one just did that. Black is also pretty Ah, white So sometimes break open these walls and make sure we can it up so it might like get a few more tanks at this level because there's this mod which makes them a lot slower, meaning they'll not be able to really come at you or dodge your bullets very well when they're outside. So you can take advantage of that a little bit to be careful because things will start coming in around the other way. And if you're on this ice, it's not good at all because Ice is slippery, meaning your acceleration is lower, and your velocity will be more consistent with your with itself over time. Meaning that uh, you won't be able to change your velocity, and the black tanks will be able to move where you will be a lot more easily on ice, and as a result, you just die a lot more. So you want to get off the ice as much as possible, because these black tanks know better than you. Ordered that guy and got it. Now the orange guy ordered that guy too. There's four tanks left. There's a white tank here. Oh, the white tank got me from behind the corner. That's a shame. So we have a purple, two oranges, and a white tank. You can tell uh, which tanks are alive from instruments too. The tuba is the purple tank. Uh, this synth for the this synth is for the orange tank, and the white tank is the heart. So I got one of the orange tanks, so we can tell there's still another orange tank, but there's still a synth. Right? And I got the purple tanks. So now the two ones gone. The the rest of this level should be fairly straightforward. There's just an orange tank left, and this guy will charge straight at me. So if I shoot a fan, you can shoot a fan by clicking and holding down and dragging the line. This will clear. So now this level is Castle Corridors. This level has a lot of dangerous tanks, like the black tanks and the dark tanks. And the black tanks will pass by the other tanks will move around. So, my general recommendation is just stay inside and take out whatever threats are coming for you. Once you've gotten rid of most of the moving things, it should be fairly not too bad. Yeah, the dark pink ones and the black ones are the biggest ones. The light pink ones can also be concerned. mine there and I'll take care of them. And these little mini guys will come after me. So now we'll be left with a bunch of mini tanks, some light tank tanks, and a bunch of laser tanks up in the border of this level. So you can have the light tank tanks. Okay, that's all of them gone. 
now uh, I think the next job is to take out the green tanks, uh, which is a bit tricky because these green tanks can use their two bounces to keep you from here. But you can't use a bounce because of the way this level is designed. You're going to have to go out into the open and shoot them directly, which is always a little scary. So just break it. And got that guy. Now I have to get this other green guy. Uh, it's easy once you get one of them down. Oh, I got laid. Also, you have to be careful for that. So it's just a pink tank left here. Uh, the pink tanks will respawn if you haven't killed all of their mini tanks. Uh, that's when they'll come back. So I'll go in here. And it's easier to kill these green tanks from across than uh, diagonally because there's just a bigger distance and a narrower uh, hole, meaning you'll be able to have... You'll be able to more easily deflect bullets that will be coming towards you and have more time to react to them. So I'll just take out this pink tank here and this one here, and I have to watch out for that green tank all the way down there. So we're going to use the method where we'll peek out from the side. Corner. Oh, you can also use corners to get uh, the red tanks. I don't know if I mentioned this before, but if you have enough time to just peek out of a corner before it shoots and then hide back, you can take them out that way too. Okay, go on, push, push it. Please, please. Over here, you know you want to die. children to kill their mother by pushing it straight into my trap. Alright, now we need to get rid of these my little rats. And the lasers too. See, the little pink guys will come directly towards you if they see you. Which makes them even more annoying because they're, they're a bit smaller than your turret length. So if they stick right next to you, when you shoot a bullet, it'll start out after them. So you won't be able, you'll have to put a mine down if you want to get rid of them if they're sticking to you, because you'll shoot over them otherwise. Yeah, it's a bit nasty. Uh, just don't let the little pink guys get too close to you. These guys have strength in numbers. Now just to get this last red guy. And that's that level. Okay, now Castle Demolition. This one's a very fast paced level. The goal of this level is basically just blow it up. Uh, use the boost panels and you sort of go into a flow. Uh, that fail. Get into a sort of flow when you're moving around dodging the mustard tank bullets like I've said earlier. Put, them, put your mines right next to the tanks. But also next to the explosive things so that get both the tanks and how to change the actions. Keep moving around in like a sort of way. And take, take advantage of the tanks. Because they will be the tanks for us. Take us level. And that's that level. It's very easy to lose a lot of lives on that level. And I think this is the hardest level in my opinion. It's uh, Castle of Ruins. It's the last level of the two. There's a bunch of black no shoot. A bunch of black tanks and light pink tanks. And the black tanks are really, really hard in this game compared to you know, the other tanks, I'd say. Because they have flair, yeah, they have everything. They have velocity prediction. So they know where you will uh, you change the direction. You have to strafe. They'll strafe around you too if they see you. So they're a bit harder to dodge that way. They also have fine and everything, they have everything. Now these light pink tanks, once they see you, they'll start uh, half finding to you as well. But if they don't see you, they're pretty harmless. You can take them out when they're not in your line of sight. Uh, when they are in your line of sight, just try to get them to calm down by just standing far back from them. And they'll, they'll calm down and you can take them out more easily. Or just you know, go all out. Like that. 
the light pink guys. Uh, they're not too bad. Once they are angry, they can't just be bound to you though. So you can take advantage of that too. So there's just two black things left. I might die a few times. Oh, that'd be insane. It's easier if you take one at a time, because... But, you have to be careful, because these guys are like said many times, they have half mind. And they'll, they'll keep up with me, just like those orange guys. They'll also shoot their bullets. Well, I got one of them down, now, the last one. Um... There we go. And, that is the whole crusade! All complete. Okay, now let's watch the stats, the best part. Mm, this is a very satisfying stats screen. I, I, I like this screen a lot. So, who did I die to the most? I died 8 times to Mimic tanks, who are posing as uh, the Mustard tanks. Who else did I die to? White tanks and green tanks. And black tanks. Yeah, those, that seems pretty much about right. As you can see, I completed the first four levels in one attempt. Uh, nine attempts on castle artillery. I guess if you guys take away something from this video, it's that I'm bad at uh, this level castle artillery, and maybe it needs to be nerfed. Uh, you guys let me know. Did the rest pretty decently, I guess. Took me 26 attempts. Snow, Fort, and Castle Siege took me the most time out. I have an accuracy of 11.6% for my bullets, and a mine accuracy of 216.6%. That's because I castle demolition, where I just use those chain reactions. Uh, you know, if you use a mine, you blow up those explosive uh, blocks, and those explosive blocks blow up tanks. That counts as your mine having done the kill. Pretty cool. 11.6 is pretty good for bullets. I, I normally get around 9. Uh, and now you can see all the tanks roll past. Uh, yeah, took me 26 minutes. I have a kill death ratio of 13 degrees, I mean, that's also pretty good. Uh, 1,561 points for me. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching this video. I hope you learned something about the tanks and you got to see how I fared against my own levels. And if you'd like to see more of this kind of stuff in the future, let me know. Goodbye!